Hello, and welcome to this week's lesson about sound. And this week we're going to talk about sound waves and vibrations. And I'm holding my guitar because when I strum my guitar, my pick hits the string, and then somehow the sound which started here, travels through the air and goes into my ear where I can hear it. So we're going to be figuring out today how the sound gets from here to here. Before you talk about sound, you have to talk about air because without air, there's no sound. We take air for granted. How do we even know that the air is here? Well, one thing is we can breathe it. The second thing is, you can feel the air when you blow on your hand. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And if I had a balloon, and I blew in the balloon, it's filling up with something, right? So what's inside the balloon? It's air. So we know there's air here. In science class, you've talked about molecules, and how molecules make up everything around us. In some things, the molecules are very close together, like this brick. This brick, the molecules are jammed so tightly together that nothing can go through it. If I had a feather, I'd say that the molecules are not so close together. It makes it very light and fluffy. Water is made up of molecules too, but the molecules aren't so close together that it can't move. In fact, it can flow quite a bit. But air molecules are really interesting because they're so far apart that you can't see them. And not only that, you can walk right through them. You can't walk through this brick. If you tried to walk through this brick, you would hit it because the molecules are so tight together. But with air, we just walk right through it. We know it's there. So what does air have to do with the way that sound travels? When I pluck a string, what does the air have to do with getting the sound from here into my ear? Sound comes from some kind of movement, a vibration. When I pluck the string, it causes the string to vibrate back and forth. You can see the string vibrating in this slow motion video. You can see the vibrations for yourself if you make another little box with a rubber band like we did a couple lessons ago when we made a rubber band box guitar. Look closely at the rubber band stretched across and pluck it. Can you see what the string is doing? It's shaking up and down like this. That's a vibration. I want you to try and figure out this before I give you the answer. After I pluck the string and the string shit is vibrating, how does the sound get from here to here? When I pluck the string, the string starts to vibrate. Well, all around the string are those air molecules everywhere, lots and lots of them. So many you can't even count how many molecules there are. Well, the molecule that's right next to the string feels the vibration and that air molecule starts to shake. One molecule tells the next one to start shaking, which tells the next one to sh start shaking, which tells the next one to start shaking, and so and so and so, until all of the molecules are shaking right up into my ear. And there's air in my ear, too. And what's inside of the ear? Have you ever heard of an eardrum? It's very much like a real drum. When you hit a drum head, it vibrates. And when the vibrating air hits your eardrum, it makes your eardrum start to vibrate. The movement of sound is very much like ripples in still water. The water is still, just like the air could be still. But when you throw a rock into the water, it creates a ripple that starts in a small circle and starts to spread out. That's exactly what happens to sound waves. When a sound happens, it creates a ripple in the air molecules, each air molecule pushing on the air molecule next to it, and it spreads out. Hi friends, I'm in the music room at MPMS 
to show you a little experiment about how sound travels from one place to another. On the floor tom, I put some leaves and some rocks. And when I hit this tom, you can see that the leaves and rocks move. So I'm gonna show you a pretty cool trick. I'm gonna hit this drum up here, but the leaves and the dirt are gonna shake on this drum. So let's see how that works. Isn't it interesting that I'm hitting this drum, but this drum is shaking. What's happening is that the vibrations from this drum are going through the air and shaking this drum down here. Here's a question for you. In outer space, there's no ear. Is there any sound? Is there sound in outer space? No, there's no sound in space because there's no air. There's no way for a sound to travel without air. Can you try to make a sound and then listen for another sound somewhere else because of the vibrations of your sound? Have you ever heard of an echo? Is that the same thing? I hope you enjoy conducting some of these experiments at home. Please let me know what you find. I'm always interested to find out what your scientific research shows. Have fun.